Uh, again, if we didn't mention it earlier, this is the round of 16 for IPL5 qualifier number four for North America. It is the last qualifier, and it is a single limb qualifier. So, Tau Theory attacking in for Nexil, gonna try and uh, you know open up with first blood here and try and get that all important attacking round. Uh, the team that loses this match will only have a chance in the wild card qualifier uh, that takes place at the event itself at the end of November. That's only three weeks away, essentially. Uh, no. uh, three and a half weeks, you know, we'll be flying down there, uh, setting everything up for the live event, and it's gonna be awesome. And, uh, you know, after seeing ESWC, I only saw pictures, like didn't even get to see much of the stream, uh, but the, oh. the pictures of the event were great and it's making yeah. me really excited for IPL5. Check that out, Tau Theory taking out Kraken pretty quickly. He does take uh, a response rocket there from Nod Max, so we're at a pretty even footing. He's gonna start moving toward the goal now. It is gonna be uh, able to be capped in just a second now it is and ooh wow not mac landing another one tau theory not even really taking many shots here but time is running out two defenders left hops on the goal oh 78 percent that was actually pretty close and of course congratulations to our eu qualifier champions colwyn for their victory at eswc you got to yeah. give those guys credit of course um that's uh Sturmy akm and uh wins wi uh, wi uh, what wins wins With um, he, he's full of wind He's so um, full of wind. That's awesome. And now we are going to have Nod Mac, one of my favorite guys, <laughs> um, up at the play here. Let's see if he's going to be able to do something. Do you uh, want to know a secret about Nod Mac? No, nah, you know, he's just a good guy. No, he, he gives me want, crap all the time. Do you want to know a secret? Oh, yeah, Nod sure. Mac? Okay. Nod Mac backwards is Camden. Camden. And that's his name. Oh, that's just Check romantic. Check that out. Check that, that out. That's just, that's just beautiful. <laughs> and oh, I know look at this. Golden Boy backwards is Alex. So you, you guys share that. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> um, oh, oh, nice shot by Nodmac catching Theory from behind as he is, might find someone over by the red pole, but he is not. But the goal is going to become live in just a sec here. And there is going to be one guy at the bottom. He misses a shot, a little slight to the left there. Let's see if Nodmac is going to be able to do something. Whoa. Finding someone on the side, moving in. He's going to have two bars of health, and he gets taken out right away. 10%, nothing he can do there. He gets stopped. Man, so 10%, not quite enough to, to capture the goal. Nodmac uh, getting picked off all at the end there. Lurgeon attacking in for next Zill. We'll see if he's got what it takes. We know that... Really? I don't ask these questions. Really? And this keeps on going, too. Like, it'd be it's cool. a long one. <laughs> it really is. It's a long horn. Um, <laughs> I did Anyway. Sorry. Uh, Lurgeon, we know he's got skills because he played UT 2K4. Oh, come on. That was such a niche thing. And, and that's Low why grab. we know he's good because only the best players in the no. world. <laughs> okay. Well, he game. does get a shot Check there on out. Delta. Yeah, low, low grab instigate actually translates pretty well to shoot mania because jumping. I mean, you're in the air pretty long time. It's kind of kind of equivalent. You know, and you you're, might be you're right. armed with a laser. So I mean, he's got oh. he's got the uh, the skills already. We can tell he just doesn't have access to wall jumps just yet, as that is still an experimental elite. But you know, who's, who knows? Eventually, there might be some more movement stuff added to wow. the game. Check that out, Lurgeon. Great I'm, shot. I'm putting putting everything on Lurgeon for this qualifier, not the rest of the team. <laughs> yeah, but his uh, horn just kills it, though. <laughs> like, it really does. But Lurgeon with the attacking round, 2-1 to one of the score now, as we are going to have another member of Resolution Kraken coming up here. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. Um, you know what? We have been seeing uh, a lot of the traditional positioning. We saw them, we saw in the beginning of the round, uh, Nexil try and rotate over to that backside here. Ooh. But Kraken already gets pegged with one rocket. He might be able to find one guy on the side here, but he's going to get pegged with a second rocket as well. And now Lurgeon and Moff with two rockets on him. Kraken only one armor left. This is not a good look for him. And he gets taken out by a jumping rocket. Nice stuff there by Theory. Yeah, all the, uh, all the Nexil guys swarming around Kraken. Uh, not letting him get a chance to be released because um, that's that's what Krakens do. They're just released, you know. <laughs> release the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh. Nodmac Kraken and Delta. He doesn't even spell it the same way because I think that's part of his name too. It's like McCracken. McCracken? Yeah. That would be an awesome name. <laughs> James McCracken. That was actually <laughs> my principal at high school was, was a McCracken. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that is a real name. But, James McCracken? Uh, something like I that. Just, I, when I hear James McCracken, I think of like a – like a detective, 
could, you know? That could work. James McCracken like solving hard... crimes the only way he knows how. With, with puppies. brute force and puppies. <laughs> Mostly puppies. <laughs> and too, this is not good for Ma. This is a bad spot. He he had so much time left on the clock. He and... truly did. That was a that was a foolish play. He did not need to push up that fast. Cost his team that round there. Although they are up by one. You know, you want to try and at least solidify some kind of uh, established lead here. But it is what it is, and now it's going to be up to Delta. Delta not having the greatest game here, uh, at least on the defensive side. He did get one, but he has been uh, the victim a few times of shots. <laughs> Actually, I think he got taken out like two times. Uh, but in any case, so Delta is going to be making his way around over here, trying to find someone over oh, to his right wow. side, missing the shot. He might get pegged with another one. Quite a whiff. That Quite was, a whiff. Uh, <laughs> it seemed to be he a mile. The rocket. A mile off the target. That's okay. Tau theory. That should have been an open shot too. I think Delta might be lagging or something because those these shots so far have not been close to the mark. Maybe he just needs to shake off some rust. Uh, I don't know if he had a chance to scrim today to to try and prepare for this. But it is our last oh. online qualifier, and he does finally land one laser. A second one could be showing up here. Those duels can be kind of a tough situation. He's still got one armor left. No stuff. Popped up off the cap and taken out there by Tau Theory. Nexil already up four to two. It is first to six points to actually win the map, and Nexil is the only team with that super important attacking round so far. Let's see if Tau Theory can try and extend their lead. Uh, or if Resolution will be able to shut them down. Yep, and, uh, you know, it, it would be good for them to be able to extend this, take game number one, you know, in these best of threes. It's very, very important. But uh, we are going to see his theory making his way around the side here, waiting for that target, and he misses the shot. Seemed like the guy was there. Actually, he's in the archway, yeah. um, which is uh, pretty interesting because yeah. I have not seen that being played all that much because you leave yourself exposed. Right, it's kind of like the cubby 2.0. Um, usually yeah. you see this cubby right in front of Tau Theory or the fence way in the back. I uh, haven't actually seen that archway used very often. Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to expose yourself. It's just kind of in that line of sight very easily. That's uh, true. So I feel like the other cubby is better. But, uh, you know, these guys, Ooh. I'm sure, have been practicing it and, and figuring out the pros and cons of different positions. Maybe, you know, sometimes it's really just nice to give a different look because they're not expecting it. So anything, For sure. anything is still valid. Different kind of tactic. Yeah. And the goal can be captured. Ooh, He's only going to have no one way. armor left in theory, not able to make his way in. As Blue will win the turn, score is going to be four to three. Though still the lone attacking round is going to go to that was going to be Lurgeon, your favorite player. Yep. Um, yep. Lurgeon's going to get every single attacking round in this qualifier. He does definitely seem to have a, a really good laser though. Yeah. Like he he feels comfortable out there. You see a lot of the other guys they they feel a little off. Maybe it is lack of practice, lack of warming up. Who knows? But uh, but Lurgeon definitely did feel in in his in like he looked like he was in his zone. Yeah yeah. I agree. He get he landed three very good shots. Nodmac. We'll see if he's going to be able to try and match that here for resolution. Oh, that was an open shot for Nodmac, <laughs> and he missed it. Ah. And he's coming around the corner of the challenge, and I don't know. I, I don't like the defensive positioning that these guys are doing sometimes, but overall, though, I mean, I, I kind of understand it, trying out different things. If you want to try out something different, you try it out in the beginning of the uh, of the matchup, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, but And this is still a very close match, and, you know, Nodmac could win it for his team here, theoretically. Yeah, he kind of needs to, uh, you know, if the next Ooh. attacker gets successful here, then uh, Nexil will just win the map. And actually, Lurgeon wasn't even the first attacker, but he was the only successful one. And now he's up to bat again. Uh, Nodmac has been the defensive superstar so far for Resolution, but with Lurgeon on the attack again... We'll see how they post up, if they post up differently. So, yeah, we were saying this is the really common one, but Delta's actually been posting up in this archway, yeah. which is in the attacker's line of sight a little bit more often. So it just seems a little bit more dangerous to, to the two of us. But uh, we'll see if it actually ends up making a difference. He does expose his you know his arm a little bit here and there. But this, this seems like a really safe position for him now because that defender's so far back. Certainly, and he is going to be able to identify Delta in the back over there. Might go for the challenge. Not too sure if he wants to do that because he could have been waiting for him to come out of the tunnel and then lace him with at least like two to three rockets. That would have been a really bad, really bad run there for Lurgeon. But nice stuff. As you are going to see someone by the goal, that was going to be a missed shot there. Someone coming out of that cubby hole there, and now Lurgeon making his way around. He might be able to get this hit. He chased it down. Not the best idea to have here, as there's going to be two guys over by the goal. He's only going to have one armor left. He gets taken out, and that is going to be a nod back with two hits. Lurgeon, no longer my favorite player. Turns out he has <laughs> just lost fanboy, that privilege. Uh, I'm a, I actually made my own bandwagon. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I bandwagon on you and off. You hopped off the bandwagon. Yeah, so, so every every now and then I, I pick a new bandwagon Okay. Uh, to go ahead and jump on. But, you know, Lurgeon's has broken down. 
Um, he got picked <laughs> apart. He made some iffy decisions. He really missed, did. Missed a couple of like. He he seemed know. comfortable in the beginning. Yeah. And then you know with his movement, but then uh, after that he kind of just fell apart, and he really fell apart when he went for that chase. Right. Which was not the best thing for him they, to they do. They were drawing him away from the goal, and yeah. he, he went oh. straight for it. But Kraken with a nice shot. This is actually their last shot at trying to stay in this map. If Kraken can land just two more lasers, he will uh, tie it up at five five, and we'll move into extra rounds. But he does need to find those defenders. He for he's somebody. using time right now Oof. where he's not being able to uh, take any shots and I'm sure that other defender yeah is gonna be nearby but now the goal is open he's gonna try and go for the duel and because the other defender isn't there oh my goodness oh Third wow shot nice shot by Kraken that was big you you do not give those up that that was a win situation there you were able to take a one and you just you just threw it away <laughs> now we are gonna go into extra rounds guaranteed yeah. That's right, 5-5, five, five. no one can win 6-5. to five. The minimum score you need to win is 7-5 to five because of that win-by-two rule. Uh, that comes into play a lot, for example, on defensive stalemates where neither team can just happen to get that attacking round successfully. They can go on forever. So the way the rules are, uh, it's first to six points. You must win by two. And if any team should reach 20 points, they just automatically win because that game is going way too long. Yeah. And you need to just change the map at that point. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so 20 is our, like, hard cutoff for points. But you must win by two, first to six points. Uh, that may actually change. Uh, we're still debating internally whether we want to oh, change. Oh, the dodging. Oh, wow. Change that six to a nine, potentially, as ESWC nice is done. Nice movement by Moff, too. His rockets were just flying by his face, and he was dodging a bunch of them. But he's missing the shots, Josh. And that's something that I... Ooh. Oh, he did get that shot oh. in behind. And wow. he got the goal. What happened? I don't know. Who is that last defender that was just chilling? I, I got to rotate more. Where is he? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. What? In, I think that, that was Kraken. That last defender just could not plant the rocket. It must have been Kraken giving him, giving him props. Uh, but uh, actually, I think someone told me there's a free cam now. Oh, my goodness. There's a free cam now. We can possibilities take, are endless. We can take any vision we want. Actually... Yeah, look at that. We get oh, that's so cool. We're gonna we follow him. Oh God! Oh no! Okay, maybe this is a terrible idea. Let's just go to the uh, to the attack review. Uh, I'll figure it out as we go along. But I think that's really cool that there's a free cam there now, is. Uh, so we can actually follow around whichever angle we want to do. Nice hits there. It's all there because of Aaron. Aaron started. found that our yeah. video guy. Aaron, our our guy who helps make our YouTube videos for all the uh, instructional videos and and things throughout the week. Um, he does the, the replay editor for the in-game stuff. And wow. wow, check that out. Delta on a roll here. Uh, you know, Nexil again on map point. And if they give up this next attacking round, that's going to be heartbreaking. This is going to be big. Oh, oh my, goodness. my God. Delta with the shot, taking him out. That was going to be Lurgeon, your favorite player. <sighs> and now we're going to have uh, two attack Whoa. rounds for each team. Now it's going to be up to Theory. Let's see if he's going to be able to do anything here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you're just... I'm enjoying this. All right, go let, for let it. Let me enjoy this. It's the first broadcast. Whoa. Let's just go for it. Yeah, it's the first map. We'll, we'll oh, see. I can't, <laughs> first I can't, map. I can't go up. No, I can scroll out, though. <laughs> oh, what's happening? You oh, see what goodness. you did there, Josh? You just missed a shot. Two defenders <laughs> left. All right, I'm going to stop messing with the camera. Until until I have time to practice off stream, uh, then then I might actually try to... Casters have to practice their spectating yeah, modes, man. Oh, it's hard, man. You know most esports now have dedicated observers for That's just true. this purpose so they can make it look pretty and not have to focus on actually like commentating what's happening in the game so maybe uh, we'll get to that point with shoe mania here tau theory attacking now for nexil they've already given up two map point attacking rounds and now tau theory needs to try and give them a third opportunity to win this first map he has Alliance. to get this guy in the back here they have to actually Ooh. two targets in the back he has to jump around as fast as he possibly can theory Ooh. gonna back himself Ooh. into some corner he's gonna be able to dodge all these rockets coming his way but he's gonna get pegged with two rockets Rockets, two from Delta, one from Kraken. Nice work there by Resolution, holding it down. And if they take this attacking round, if not back, Car if, if what is it, Camden, Camden can put the team <laughs> on his back, then they can uh, then they can walk away with this win, which should have been Nexil's win from the get-go. But they choked on that last attacking round for Resolution, and that was just not a good look for oh, them. Look but at in Tal any Theory. case, here we go. Tal Theory missed his mark and is actually coming around. I don't know if Nodmac... I don't, I don't think he could possibly realize that there's someone this about to is come behind be him. This is interesting, but he has to be quick with it, though. Well, I want to I want to see now. We're we're just gonna pull all the way out just so we can watch Tau Theory here, because we can we can still see everyone. <laughs> keep <laughs> keep attention running. here on Nod Mac. Tau Theory is coming over. I think he's still hidden. He's gonna pop out any second now behind him. Oh, and he did peg here him. Here it is. He's oh, stuck. Moth, Moth got him. 
uh, with that first rocket. But now, check that out. Tau Theory does get a point of armor, and Moth gets the third one. So that strange little mistake slash Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe he went for out. the full flank. Yeah, that was interesting. You know, let his teammates hold him off for as long as possible. Like, I talk about the technique of hurting, <laughs> and you think I'm lying when I'm talking about this, but it's true. Just you wanna... on that map, just just Castle Crasher. No, the he, he, they may have hurted him in that situation, just uh... had him rotate on that side, you know, with their rockets. I mean, come <laughs> on, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a champion like this. I know. There's no hurting. I know what it's like. Hurting is a myth. Hurting is... <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe me. And now it's going to be up to Lurgeon. He got the first attacking round here, but he gets pegged by a rocket, so now he's only going to have two armor left. Lurgeon dropping around over here as he might be able to take off this target on the Hit left him. side. Yes, he does. Beautiful work there. Taking out Delta as Lurgeon finding another target that was going to be Kraken. Kraken's not in a good look here as he's stuck in a rock and a hard oh place. My goodness, he's going to miss the, the laser. One yeah. armor left. Yeah, now that uh, he let that defender slip away, he's going to have a much harder time. Another oh. open shot. Lurgeon, what are you doing? you got to make LGI 35 popular again with uh, <laughs> with your rise to shoot Mania glory. Man, this is this is not working out for, for Lurgeon. His first attacking round was, was crisp. Yeah. Three shots, three it, kills. It really was crisp. It was, it was good. You know, I was feeling it. And then... <laughs> Now he's and just not. The last two anymore. attacking rounds that Lurgeon had were just were nowhere nowhere close. It was a shadow of his former self. <laughs> but uh but Kraken is attacking once more and he actually was the one to bust the the stalemate or actually to to get resolution back in the game so yeah uh, very good job by Kr uh, Kraken a little earlier on so we'll see if he's going to be able to repeat that performance Ooh. resolution is on map point now so the the first attacking round that they're able to secure uh, could just win them the game wow in theory getting those two rockets bad positioning by Kraken finding someone on the right side and Moth 2 gets ta or Moth 2 takes out Kraken and ends that one okie dokie so just got an update uh, yeah, we got an update on our cast uh, order. We're going to do less is more versus death threats next. Uh, so we're going to finish up next Zill versus Resolution. It is a best of three. So uh, so we still got a couple of games here that we got to get through. We'll see who wins this one. And then, you know, it's so evenly matched. It I could easily see this going to a game three. But Moth 2 attacking in now for next Zill. They are not on map point. If they do successfully get an attacking round, Resolution will have an opportunity to try and answer for it. Uh, oh, but he knows that defender's pinned in the cubby. Is he going to actually try and rush at him? Could be risky. Dun, dun, dun. Is he in there? He might. Yep. Yes, he yep. is. Never yeah, mind. Because he, he shot the rockets in that direction and they were hitting him. I'm like, is he in there? Because I thought it would have knocked him to the side a little bit. Uh, oh, man. Open shot. Moth 2 has a definite chance here. Three armor against just one defender. And check that out. Dodging the rockets on the way up to the point. Lands the shot easily. And that is it. Uh, actually, no, that's it for the attacking round, not it for the map. They still have to defend against this guy, Mr. Delta, who did earlier on have a clutch save once again for resolution. So we'll go ahead and take the overhead and view. They just cannot seem to uh, to defend when they need to, which is a major thing here. You know, when you're at IPL5 and you got to, you know, when you got to defend against some of the best in the world, uh, you know, and hold down that lead, you need to do it. This is the time for them to take game number one, which will be huge for them, considering that they have not had a lot of great luck right. when it comes to uh, where they're placed in the brackets and the opponents they face off against. You know, they're facing off against some talented people. That's why Qualifier 4 is probably going to be one of the most well-balanced besides, you know, Third Coast, who I'm pretty sure is, you know, ready for uh, ready for war. <laughs> but uh, there, there's just a lot of teams here that have the potential of going to IPL 5, and they got to continue to play consistent and solid. Yeah, next Zill in our previous qualifier was eliminated in the round of 16. This is a round of 16 oh. match here, so they do have a chance to uh, to improve upon that if they can actually eliminate Delta, but they might not have to eliminate him if the clock just runs out of time. Yeah, for sure. And wait a minute, though. One laser nailed. He's going to move in. He has only one armor left. Oh. Not enough time. He, he was doing actually a really good job doing the dance of death, but getting the lasers when they mattered most. But ne nevertheless, though, it is going to be the team of Resolu I mean, Nexil. Actually, Nexil, who yeah. should have won in the first place. <laughs> uh, they will take game number one. And now we're going to have game number two coming at you in just a bit, right? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump to a break on the other side. Game number two will start. It's Nexil versus Resolution. Stay with us. Oh. 